up guys andy here with sublu productions with taylor holly once again shout out to redline pest management for sponsoring this video go check them out you can find their information there on the screen uh, and we are here with the back nine that's right coming in cooler than the other side of the pillow shout out Stuart scott all right S back nine action <laughs> trey and alex heating up on the front nine Christian dealing with hole one issues, but making a comeback after that was two down after that hole. So uh, definitely some momentum moving into this back nine, coming into hole 10, 353 feet. You got a couple of options if you want to flex something out, if you want to throw something straight, it's got a hyzer and finish uh, to this left side basket. Um, gonna obviously have to deal with some undulation, nothing new here if you paid attention to the front nine, undulation on every hole. Um, so definitely something guys are well aware of. Uh, just got to commit here to this line. Look for a flare at the end, I believe, is the play. <laughs> That's how it's done. Jeez Louise. I mean. uh, yeah. Yeah, Alex with the, with the good one to get the back nine started. Christian going with roller. Roller alert. Forehand roller edition. I liked it. Just a little early. You know Chris is going backy. Oh no. That is way right. Yeah. Okay, Chad going with the forehand. That's that's a good little play. Got up there. So Christian's gonna be forced to go back to back forehand rollers. Oh man. And it see Found a way up there somewhat. Yep. That's uh, bringing back memories of City Mobile Championships at the Admiral. Having to yeah. throw forehand rollers out of the woods. Nothing you, uh, you know, I always tell everybody, if, I, if you see me throw more than one forehand roller, it's usually not a good hole. <laughs> Chris, somehow just. What? I mean, beautiful shot. Wow. Didn't get a little... If I could talk, didn't quite get the pan there, but that's that's definitely putting. You cooking something in that pan, Andy? I'm cooking something. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> Christian's cooking that butter into the into the green there. Ooh. That's gonna Hot. be a tester for his four coming back. So I might get a little jumper here. Ooh, just a little high lift. Just a bit outside. <laughs> Good run, though. Strong bid. Yep. Confident. I always say that the high putt is a confident putt. Typically, that, that low putt is, is that all that's missing is confidence. Your body, body was ready. Shot selection was ready. Mind was not. Mm. You heard it here. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Clear the mind. Back to, uh, well, we'll watch Chris putt first because this would be a fantastic three. Yeah, indeed. Let's say three of the day so far. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, Christian's a little upshot from down there or putt. Smart play. Just, just lay it up there. And go on, hole eleven. Yeah, unfortunately, the strokes he uh, he got back on the the front nine is gonna all all disappear there. So, yep, gonna put him back at six over. Yeah, and this card at least is we're starting to see it separate a little bit more. You got Alex at three, Trey two, Downey at one. I think is what it was. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to hole eleven, the tightest dog leg that's on the course, maybe. The tightest one in Mississippi. Uh, this is a weird shot. I mean, you gotta hug the corner super quick, and then uh, just hope that you've got that little gap to make a jump putt. Because I don't know anybody getting in this circle. If you got in this circle, wow! Comment. 
on I, this video. I, I did not quite understand when you said Titus Hulman after watching that ridiculous hyzer shot be on the right side of the fairway uh, or, or off the right side of the fairway. Um, yeah, I understand now. Jeez, yeah. And that was like a touchy, floaty mm -hmm. super hyzer backhand and still finished on the right third. Yeah, and you can't really... That's a good shot. You can't really go up either, I don't think. I think I remember checking that out. It's just not much of a way to go. A skyzer. Yeah, a lot of these guys are going to have some work to do here. Mm hmm Didn't quite catch it. Go left. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah, advanced it. I mean, it landed back in the middle, but going to be tough to, to save the par. Yeah, I mean, this even this approach shot, even if you're in the middle of the fairway, it's just difficult. I'm surprised. Uh, it may be just based on the first 15, 20 feet off the tee box, but I'm surprised Christian didn't try to throw that forehand roller on this hole. Because uh, obviously you're trying to tuck something hard left. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're having a tough time just getting to this back this pin. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Oof. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Do it. Ooh. Ooh. Close bid there. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, let's go. <laughs> let's is, go. Is that a better three than his last three? Yeah, uh, I don't think it's better than his last no, three. No, the tee shot on the last one was, yeah. just made it that much worse. Well, plus that forehand was just stupid. He makes me want to just go spin frisbees. <laughs> spin to win, baby. Spin to win. Spin it to win it. Kind of some uh, funky little basket action there on that putt. Yeah, it was. Just a little cleanups here on aisle five. Really aisle 11, if you want to get technical with it. Yeah. Christian taking the only four. Unfortunately, going to seven up, yeah. it's just it's getting tough for him to make some noise at this point. Uh, but here is hole 12. Par three, 242 feet. Most players, righties, of course, are gonna take the straight to slight turnover approach here. It's only 250 feet, but it's tough to get to the pin. You got all the all the trees like you mentioned earlier. Yeah, not again, once again, not a not really a forehand hole. Kind of forced to throw a backhand here. Ooh. Ooh. That was a uh, basket hunt. Yeah, it was. I think Chris was thinking that he had a pretty good one there. Unfortunately, leaking a little right, catching a tree, kicking back left. Uh, ditto, ditto on that drive. Yep. Hmm. Oh man, that was hunting <laughs> too. Yeah, it was. I knew as soon as it cut to the catch, it was it was probably looking good. Speaking of disc hunting, I heard uh, Ooh. Well, that's good you, one. Mr. Andy Burns, had had a nice ace yourself, your first ever one in a PDGA sanctioned event. I did indeed. Very nice. A little moon, Congratulations. moonshine uh, justice. Nice action. Forehand, backhand. Backhand skip shot. Righty or lefty backhand? I lefty. do have to ask because for those lefty. of you that don't know, Andy is quite ambidextrous. So lefty backhand, moonshine justice. Yeah, it was fun. Lots of people witnessed it. Very that, nice. that makes it that makes it all the more fun. As I was about to say. Now, when we say lots of people, do mean like eight people or like eighty? People? No, I mean it was the first hole of the event. Oh, okay. So all right. you got the people on the card at the next hole, the ones behind us, nice. like all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Great putt there from Christian. Yeah. And back to the action. Yeah. 
That was for a deuce, right? Yeah, I believe so. But just as I say, he's not making noise. Gotta make sure to clean up after himself. <laughs> I hope people got that. <laughs> uh, Look, man, the dad jokes have gotten real since I've been gone, so I hope everybody's ready for them. Golly. Lasers. He's in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Good putt from Trey, too. I mean, Christian, Alex, Trey. Chad had a good bid. The putting continues. I'm glad he made that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> right after you said everything. Shout out to the caddies. Oh, yeah. Caddies need love, too. That's right. I hope Chad's as confident as everybody else is that's just walking away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. All right, so Alex taking the first two-stroke lead. Yes, he opening is. Opening round. Yeah. Nice. So here's 13, another elevated uh, tee pad, kind of just going down this walkway path, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the basket's going to be right here on the left, on the ridge. Oof. So uh, this course is definitely known for some difficult pin placements. So that's a part of your game that you really got to dial in. Oh, geez. At least we're back in the middle. Yeah. God, I can't believe how far how far Alex, Alex is, is going. <laughs> it was zooming. Well, that's, I mean, uh, honestly, like Downey's play there is like pretty good because if you can crash left, you got enough things in there to, to hold your disc up. But yeah, you turn one up too straight here and see you later. Yeah, I think Alex tossed a meteor. And that, watching one fly, just slow turnover, that's so pretty. <laughs> Chad waving to his. <laughs> Alright, so Christian going to be tapped with this very touchy upshot. Yeah, and I'm not sure what certain players would prefer here. I think me personally, I just would like throw it to the bottom of the hill and, and be mm. okay with taking the, the 10 foot straight uphill putt. I would yeah. not want to have to put back down towards the basket. Yeah, and I think the underrated, like, difficult part of this hole is on that back side of the basket. It slopes down, too, so you almost have to finish early. That's kind of the play you were talking about yep. from the other side. Yep. That way you just you kind of take the hill out of it. Um, you don't worry about a roll away on that upshot. Beautiful putt. Yep. Ooh. Backside chain catch. Oh. Well, at least you got. Oh, well, I say that. I guess I spoke too soon. I thought he was going to get a nice little curl around <laughs> right underneath the basket, but. It rolled all the way down. <laughs> Not happy. No, I wouldn't be either. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And this is kind of what I was referring to. I mean, I think I'd rather have that uphill putt than being forced to, to putt with the ravine in, the, in my background. Oof. I thought there was no way that had a chance to stand. Mm. <laughs> Ain't that athletic. Ain't that athletic. He says not that athletic. <laughs> Hey, know your role. Hey, that's it. Know your body's limitations. Oh no, Chris. No. Oh no, Chris. 
yikes. Christian's back there like, hey, man, it can happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If he's, you know, back there, if you need a good counseling session, Chris, I got you. Yeah. I've been here done this before. Therapy session, come to me. Shout out to NF. Mm. Mm. Beat me to it. Man, so what is this going to be for Chris? One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Maybe I miscounted. It was one, two, yeah. Oh, because the drive got down there. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Man. Tough. Yeah, that is tough. Yeah, you because know, um, I think he was just left of the basket by like 45 feet originally off the drive. So yeah, that's a that's a tough little four putt there afterwards. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. Hole 14, 370, left to right. Got some. Uh, it's just downhill for sure. Playing par three. Really pretty hole though. Carry it over just around that tree, kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not a bad play. I mean, to be short on that side of it, you got a good look. So, I think the problem here is going early right. Oh, I love this line, though. Yes, sir. And that's why I guess you're working here a little early right. Not bad, though. He's got to be circle two. Yeah, you know, that, that's not quite as early as I was oh, this meaning to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Yeah, that's the shot. If you have that big forehand, definitely play. Flex out just a little. Yeah, I think Daniels won't let to flatten out a little sooner. Catch that, uh, catch that slope and, and ride it to the basket. But I think he's gonna like this more than he thinks. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say so. Yeah. I, well, and on the release, it looked early. It well, and it looked like he was gonna just flat roll it. I think was what he's worried about. And the disc got mm. really flat, really quick off the release, and so it allowed it to. Oh, <laughs> get out of here! Hello. See, here's my thing. That disc is on a hyzer the whole way and somehow stays right off the pole between that and the tree. What a great putt. Shout Oof. out to mom and mom and pop. I think his parents showed up just before this hole, too. Nice. Somewhere in there. Yeah, sometimes you got to show out. Definitely. Shout out to the fam. All the fans. Go out and support your, uh, go out and support your local disc cover. Yes, sir. Good putt there from Christian. I spoke it early, saying he didn't didn't make any noise and got mad at me. All right, big putt here for Chris to just kind of get settled back in. There we go. You put that in with some authority. Yeah, well, I, I, I would assume there's probably some frustration there behind that putt. Yeah. After last hole, so. Yeah, we, we had definitely have some score separation now. Ten, ten strokes. Yeah. Between the guys on the car, so. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, what some of the better or best scores are on the, on the course, but five at this point is... I think it's pretty That's strong. Pretty killer, yeah. Going into hole 15, par four, only 476, but the shape of this hole makes it really difficult to, to even have a look for your deuce. Uh, so you kind of maybe want to stay towards the right of the fairway. He's kind of on the left, so he'll have a, another big hyzer maybe to get to the pin, but. Yeah, mainly looks like a position shot here because that's what you don't want to do, obviously. So I think what Alex was able to do, uh, like you said, maybe you want to be a little little different when it comes to the side of the fairway, but the biggest key here is getting out of this gap, finding the fairway. Oh, down he's going aggressive line. Mm. Mm. A little more hyzer, and that's smoking. Yeah. I think that's the solid safe play there. Oh yeah, he advanced it well up there. Good shot. Is that a hook lab? Yeah. Uh, number three on the forehand roller alert. Yeah, it was. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh no. Golly. Fenced. If that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that's a foot higher. Hmm. Yeah, and there's the problem being too close to the, to the left side. Yeah, I think trying to do too much with that shot, really. I mean, if you could get it on a smaller end hyzer, fantastic putt, regardless. Yeah. But and just have it land by this log out here. You know what I mean? Your, your circle one. Whatever. He knows his game. <laughs> put me put me at 50 and I'm straight. Yeah. Good boy. Alex has got that step two putt dialed in. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, I don't know if there's a better feeling in disc golf than when you are just like on it from circle two. Yeah. And hitting from circle one, obviously. Pretty frustrating if you're hitting from circle two and not circle one, but if yeah, you've got circle point. two dialed in, you just throw anything near the basket and you're, you're ready to go. Yeah. I find it interesting too, the players, like Alex is clearly one uh, because he's done it already multiple times. That if you're 34 feet, you're you're jumping. Yeah. Like 11, you're you're just outside the circle. You're jumping. That, that, that's wild to me because you got to be on point. Going to hole 16, as you can see here, bringing back some crazy landscape. There's a couple ways you can approach the shot. Uh, big over the top or maybe right at the basket here on the left side. The problem is there's that fence that runs the entire way down on the left side, so. And Alex may have found the outside of the fence. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be close. Yeah, this is a tough little lane to hit here. Um, just, I mean, all things considered, I think even a great shot's got a chance of catching that lip right there that kind of guards the basket so yeah and then that over the top play you're just asking a lot mm -hmm. a lot to get there yeah and you can you can go far right like almost past the basket and have a lane but getting that far is, is also difficult I think Oh, what a great kick. What a great wow. kick. There's some love. Yeah. Of course, give him back a little bit. Ooh. Oh! Sorry. Got a little That's excited. beautiful. He just barely missed that little mound. Uh-oh. Did that make it over? I don't think it did. Hmm. That is just a mental error, really. Because all you're trying to do with that is, is yeah, just get up get there. over the top. You know? And I, I think Alex actually was in bounce. So we'll be able to putt for his bar then. Yeah. I'm not sure about track. random uh, tangent here. Since it's Southern Nationals, for anyone who doesn't know, this is not a PDGA event, so there are no ratings involved. Uh, it was based off points to enter the tournament, Southern Nationals points. And uh, as we see, Alex moving his lead to six down. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of a different aspect. A lot of times players will try to play for a good rating at, at a certain point, or I'm not playing good, so let me just bomb it and get my rating to drop. And this is legit. Just go out there and compete. Yep. Do, do the best you can. It's kind of a different, cool, different little view. But here's hole 17. 165. You don't get your two here, you're upset. That's as simple as it gets. Yeah, I mean, maybe the, maybe the first hole we've come to on the course that feels that way. I think all the rest of them obviously were, were birdieable, but not necessarily guarantees. And 
I think this is also one of the first times all day that these righties have been able to have the option to throw mm. a little mid-range forehand off yeah. the tee. Um, all the other kind of short holes, but they were forced to throw backhand based on the way the holes landed. But yeah, and you got this n nice backstop there. That's kind of knowing knowing the course there from Christian. You can afford to be a little high with it. Just use the backstop. And boy, I tell you what, the ballerina twirl is undefeated when it comes to uh, the telltale sign that it is not a good shot. <laughs> it really is. Good out, but that's not going to raise his level of joy on this hole. No. No, and like you, like you said to begin with, I mean, this is a hole where you feel more pressure than normal because you just, it's, it's, it's under 190, you know what I mean? And, yeah. And fairly straightforward, and you feel like you just, you've got, you're losing a stroke on the field if you don't get the birdie, so. Yeah, so three twos, two threes. Alex moving to seven under on the round. Trey, great round going to at four, so. One hole left, it's the big boy, hole 18, 536 feet, playing Let's part go. three. Let's go. Yeah, big stuff here. So rip it out of the tunnel. Obviously you gotta get it out of the tunnel. And then let the disc work. You wanna finish maybe short left here. Right side might be a little tough. Ooh, man, tight, tight tee shot here too for a yeah. 500 plus hole. That's moving. Oh, yeah, we got uh, got people finishing the rounds and not paying attention. Yep. <laughs> My favorite thing, when, when people just are oblivious to the holes, even though they have played this hole previously during the round. Yeah, that's the, that's the downfall of a shotgun start. There's obviously some benefits to it. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I'm, I'm impartial. Tee times are cool, and I think they're... There's a place and a purpose for tee times, but shotgun starts are awesome for yeah. for just kind of getting the most players in the shortest amount of time right. you, know, that you can possibly do. So benefits to both. Yeah, and so far three great tee shots here. Oh, the big flexy lexy forehand. Yeah, it made its way. I think he turned it a little bit more than he wanted. Shouldn't be any trouble. Biggest thing here is everybody made the gap. Yeah. Chad's got some sneaky power. Yeah. That's, this is not the first hole that he's he's kind of just rips it real kind of nonchalantly, it looks like, and it just carries. Oh. <laughs> Who will we see next? Come on now. Yeah. That should uh, cap off a really solid round. Yeah, I mean, Alex has been pretty, pretty dialed in and just his round's been cooking better than my grandma on Thanksgiving Day, so. <laughs> Come on with it. <laughs> Beans, greens, lettuce, potatoes, and yams. <laughs> You name it. All the things. You name it. Cook us up something, Christian. I tried. <laughs> I slurred it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That has just kind of been the story yeah. of the round. Yeah, Chad, he didn't have a bad round. He just didn't really... You know, get anything going. Nope, and a few of those putts that finished left and kicked out. And I think he maybe had three on the round. Yeah. Um, yeah, big difference, right? I mean, you're going to look at kind of where you finish when a tournament's over with, and you're going to go back and look at all your strokes. And, and you know, a couple of a couple of inside of 25-foot putts that just chained out left would be the first things that come to mind that, that yeah could have saved you a lot. So, well, I say he didn't have a bad round. I didn't realize he was – five at this point so he is going to consider that a bad round yeah. but 
he knows he's got it in him. And here's the leaderboard. Alex definitely uh, went on the hot streak. All the yams and greens and all of it. All of it. Uh, man, it's going to be a good second round. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be playing at the Res. Uh, beautiful course there. Very different style. Going to be fun to watch, though. Thank you again to Redline Pest Management. Uh, for sponsoring this video. We appreciate it very much and uh, be on the lookout. Round two coming up. Let's do it.